So, this incident uh, happened in Halloween. So, mixed martial arts uh, fighter Kai Wu was standing up for a boba shop uh, owner from a customer who was demanding sushi from a boba shop. <laughs> and just remember boba tea, yeah, that is uh, from uh, Taiwan, not Japan. Just as a reference. In a video, in a video posted uh, on November 12th by journalist uh, John Hyun, cool. Uh, so the customer who has not been blurred out for privacy reasons uh, had been uh, heard speaking to the boba shop owner in a condensing way, uh, so yelling at him for not selling sushi. Obviously, uh, not understanding that uh, sushi, sushi and boba is uh, yeah two different uh, Asian things that are not related in any single way. Because sushi, Japan, boba, Taiwan. It's that simple. So apparently the customer is uh, intoxicated. So, and the customer says the. Uh, owner does not speak English, uh, however, uh, Kai Wu, uh, steps in, uh, and says that the cus- and, uh, owner, uh, speaks perfect English and, uh, and I uh, told the uh, st customer to step out before things that uh, could uh, would uh, possibly turn violent. Because uh, I know some uh, customers that uh, if you don't if they don't get what they want, uh, they uh, have a hissy fit and uh, and make things worse than it already is. So Kai Wu he uh, steps in and uh, defends the boba shop uh, owner. So uh, apparently this happened on. Uh, Halloween night when uh, Kai uh, Wu and uh, his friends were out uh, for, you know, their bubble tea drinks. Uh, and uh, Kai was uh, very concerned about that because uh, people were out there, uh, you know, enjoying their dinners and uh, in that restaurant. Uh, uh, is that navy blue guy starts getting loud and disrespectful saying that he doesn't understand what the manager is saying and wants someone to speak English even though that manager can't speak uh, English just fine and I asked him to step outside talking because the restaurant was full of uh, families enjoying their dinners I was handled handled uh, verbally and navy blue guy left the premises all shortly after then some uh, cops came uh, by later let's continue helping work together during these times So, uh, and uh, this uh, video ended up uh, going on Twitter, and uh, for uh, admiration uh, for uh, Kai Wu's uh, actions uh, and uh, their thoughts on the incident. So, many of them uh, praised the. Uh, and for handling the incident peacefully because uh, like one person said when you fella didn't know how to handle that quiet measured uh, confidence perfectly uh, dealt with and uh, and another person MMA matchmaker uh, Rich Chu then Kai is a good dude. He could have hurt this guy uh, bad, handled that uh, like a true martial artist. Oh. Although some people uh, argued that uh, Wu should have uh, physically attacked the customer and left his face unblurred in the video. And, uh, and Kai uh, responded uh, 
in a statement saying, I understand people make mistakes or sometimes say things without understanding how it may hurt or affect others. I blurred the Navy uh, blue guy out because this isn't a cancel him uh, type thing. So, you know, just to be nice and, uh, you know, not to turn things into violent. So he was being uh, considerate of the guy's privacy and, uh, you know, didn't want people targeting the guy because he understands everyone makes mistakes. Uh, but, uh. And then uh, he also had a lot of people like, Oh, I would have done this. I would have knocked him out. Post his face online. I th and then he said, I, I think in a society we've lost a lot of empathy. Just because you can do something doesn't, doesn't mean that you should. Uh, if I had jumped the gun, this would situation could have been a lot worse. We could have uh, smashed windows. People would could have been hurt. I think people need to be more empathetic. So, uh, since uh, his face is blurred out, it is unclear if he, uh, yeah. But making the assumption that, uh, oh, uh, just because he's Asian, uh, he can't speak proper English, uh, that kind of stere uh, uh, stereotypical, uh, racial stereotypical uh, stuff uh, is uh, yeah, not acceptable. And yeah, because uh, me, I'm Asian, and I speak uh, Asian perfectly, uh, like Korean perfectly fine, and I speak English. Although I did learn, learn French in school, I, that was not really my strong point. I know some people uh, who speak uh, English more than Korean. I uh, know people who speak Korean more than others. And uh, I know a person, person who uh, speaks uh, yeah, Chinese a lot. And, uh, And uh, some uh, Asian people can really ba balance it out, you know. When out in public, they speak, uh, yeah, like uh, English, but uh, they, at home or maybe at a gathering with other pe people uh, who uh, know how to speak that certain la Asian uh, language, uh, or uh, yeah, or maybe of the sa same, uh, you know, from the same country background as they are from, they also, uh, yeah, can also speak uh, the specific language uh, so and people really need to just understand this kind of stuff uh, that you know just because you're like a, or of a certain uh, racial background uh, and uh, don't make assumptions that they can't uh, speak uh, like a certain language uh, like can't speak this language or can't speak it very well. And this doesn't just happen uh, in uh, you know English speaking countries. Uh, I mean, a person from another country that speaks English or another language goes to another place, another country that it speaks a language they don't know. And if they try to speak that language uh, and then if they, uh, you know, they all sometimes get judged for uh, not be able to speak that language. I'll probably say they, you know, immigrate there or, you know, they have a, like, you know, worker's visa or temporarily staying there for, you know, a while. Now, yeah. So, in situations like this, uh, when uh, people are, like, you know, targeting a bunch of... This happens mostly with Asians, uh, so, uh, you know, remember, you know, Please uh, step up for uh, Asian and you know make sure uh, be reasonable like uh, Kai Wu did and uh, don't try to reason with the person uh, don't uh, physically attack them or you know just verbally calmly talk and yeah and of course you know always step in
and um, call if the police if you need to, and um, and also notify you know the local uh, Asian support groups. Uh, Uh, yeah, agents, uh, we do uh, need a lot of uh, support. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's still uh, worse uh, than it already was uh, pre coronavirus. Uh, and of course, uh, with that, uh, uh, coronavirus, uh, stop blaming on uh, uh, Chinese, and then also uh, for people assume, making assumptions that uh, uh, people who look Chinese carry and started uh, the virus although there's not no scientific proof of that and just people who just think uh, Asians don't belong in North America so yeah please uh, support us And it doesn't always have to be like a person who, an Asian person. You can also step up for like a person who is like maybe a, a European who uh, doesn't speak English but another language, like maybe German, French, or uh, yes, Spanish or something like that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. No. Stop this. Uh, yeah. assumption making uh, about people and uh, stop being uh, racist uh, and uh, be respectful to other people and calmly do it.